What is a brand? A brand is a form of identification, a stamp of ownership. But there is more to the story than that. Brands are rooted in commerce. In the 1700s, when goods first started to enjoy distribution, over 90% of the world's population couldn't read. Brand marks were introduced so people could ask for something by name. Pelican ink, harp lager, shell oil, and so on. Today, brands are everywhere. So, what is a brand? Let's start with what it's not. A brand is not a logo, not advertising, not marketing. A brand is an emotional connection, a sense of belonging, an inviolate bond of trust. A brand is a unique set of values. It is the difference between wanting a pair of running shoes and wanting a pair of Nikes. A brand is what people feel about you, your products, the service you provide, and your organization. It's part rational, but predominantly emotional. Everything contributes to the complex symbol of brand image, the good and the bad, the ugly and the extraordinary. People will forgive a strong brand if it makes a mistake. Remember New Coke? Conversely, people will not forgive a weak brand if it makes a mistake. Remember Gateway Computers? Of course you don't. So, what makes a strong brand? The answer is relatively simple. Focus. Focus as in centrality. All great brands stand for something. Not a laundry list of things. One thing. For decades, long before it was even a concern, Volvo defined their brand with a single word, safety. Not performance, not luxury, not reliability. Great brands think beyond the obvious to differentiate themselves. Brands aren't merely seen and heard, brands are experiential. Take Starbucks as a case in point. They differentiate themselves in many different ways, but still offer a consistent experience in every Starbucks you visit. They even created their own language, and in doing so, created a tribe of brand ambassadors who speak Starbuckese and spread the word with the zeal of missionaries. Starbucks was quick to realize they weren't in the business of serving coffee. They were in the business of serving people. So, can you put a monetary value on a brand? The people at Interbrand Research can. By their reckoning, about 61% of the value of the Coca-Cola Corporation is brand. Here's the monetary value of the brand of some other companies you are familiar with. Microsoft, IBM, and Ford. Our brand is also worth billions. It's the most valuable thing we own, so it deserves protecting, nurturing, and growing. But how? Here are a few key points. Be different. The world is awash in parody products and services. You can't attract attention by hiding or blending in. Be vigilant. Don't do things that compromise or contradict the established values for which the brand is admired. Be relevant. The world we live in changes constantly. Keep your ear to the ground, your nose to the grindstone. Keep up. So, who really owns the brand? Me, you, brand manager, the senior vice president of marketing? None of the above. Brands are owned by the consumer. It used to be companies would just tell consumers what they wanted them to believe. It was a one-way thing. Not anymore. Today, it's more of a conversation. Consumers trust the advice of friends and word on the street more than the word of corporations. Don't worry, it's all for the better. This lets us understand what is going on while it's going on. It lets us know what the consumer is thinking and what the consumer is feeling in time to take effective action. It can also help us stay focused, which is critical. So let's have a quick recap. A brand is much more than a logo or a bunch of colors or a typeface. It's what people think of us on an emotional level, why they love us, why they stay loyal to us. Great brands are focused. They don't change course on a whim. Great brands are not just seen and heard. Great brands are experienced in a way that is uniquely theirs. Great brands have tremendous value and should be treated that way. Great brands work hard to build a bond of trust with consumers. Doing that is not a job for a single person. 
It's not even a job for a single department. It's a job for everyone who has a vested interest in it. This is the only way our brand will continue to stand the test of time.